Okay, I just want to give y'all an update on our American fishing tree. Um, a lot of people have been asking about, you know, how could you set those up next to to docks or whatever. And a lot of people, of course, stand them on their ends. But I have found that if you set this up like this right here, and if you're pitching your, pitching your jig in here on this, this gives an extremely good uh, ambush point for your bait or for your, for your fish. Say so I'm up fishing, I'm dragging across. You've got all kinds, all points of uh, uh, ambush for these bass to sit up in. And of course, I've actually got some out right now. And I've got beds. I have bedding bass that have actually set beds up right up and under here. Of course, they're smaller fish, but to be able to set your American fishing tree up on its side is another great thing about these structures. Uh, as you can see, this is the, from the front end of it. See how it sets up and again. A lot of people I have I have some set up for crappie. They're also set up vertically then instead of laying on their sides. But if you place this under your dock and say for instance that tree is a uh, one of your dock pillars or the center of your dock or whatever, this is an excellent, 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 excellent structure for bringing in some very I mean some very, very good fish. I've caught, let me think here, two sevens, an eight, and a five in the last two weeks off of about two or three of these that I've got out spread out amongst some friends docks up on the up on the river. I'm not gonna tell you where though. Secret. But in case you do see these, they're mine, stay away from them, especially you bass tournament fishermen on the Tennessee River. But anyway folks, this is another great way of putting up your American fishing tree under to get you some very good lay down type structure. And again, as you can see I'm flipping my shaky head here. You're not gonna get I've I've, I've yet to get hung up in these so and again, I fish with, fish them regularly, and we they produce very, very well. And the bass love them, and the book, of course, the brim do too. And as always, you know, the crappie do. But again, though, when I do lay these down in this this uh, manner, I will take. I won't. I won't put the top hook in, and I won't put the braided nylon in. I'll actually weight them from the ends. I got rebar and I actually have them attached, uh, not rebar, but I actually got threaded rod and I have them drilled and threaded through in the ground. So the way I done it was, of course on this end I didn't have to drill. I just dropped threaded rod through here. Let me point with you here. I dropped threaded rod through right here and just put a washer and a nut on it and actually had the threaded rod driven into the, into the ground underneath the dock. Did it on each end so it helps prevent from people taking taking off with it. And of course again, vertically, if you stack, stack them vertically, they're really good too. So, uh, well actually I know they're really good. I've caught about 75 fish last, crappie the last week before last off of this structure. Even in, some of them even in spawning colors. So folks, if you've not got an opportunity to get out and get you an American fishing tree, please do so because they're extremely versatile. They're so much more well built than any other fishing structure that I've seen on the market yet. And to be able to lay them down like this underneath your dock, of course you don't want to jump on top of this, but of course you can lock the, just pop a little hole in each one of these fins or whatever you want to call them, lock them in place. That's what I've done on some of them. I just drill a little hole on each side and put me a little uh, nut and bolt on there and it holds the, the fins in place. Again, folks, but I'm rambling on, but if you've not got one of these, you definitely need to get in touch with the American Fishing Tree, and folks, catch a big one.